Oh, Connor, I just talked to the, the manager about it. You, you've almost got to give yourself a little bit of time to kind of get over a result like last night, haven't you? Just to allow yourself to be disappointed. Yeah, it's the story of football, the highs and lows. You can't, like I say, you, you, we can't come in here today and be false and be all happy as Larry because we're all gutted in there. Yeah. Um, Gaff has emphasised that um, he wants us to be disappointed. He wants it to hurt. So that when we get an opportunity to do something similar or go on a run in the league, that it means all the more. And um, yeah, the lads have got it in there, but we've got a game. Games come thick and fast now, so we've got to put our full focus on at the weekend. Yeah, and, and you look at the, some of the, the recent games, even the, the defeats, you, know, you you've matched Norwich for best part of two games, home and away. You know, you beat Portsmouth, you beat Bolton, you, you've got all these good results against top teams. It, it's just doing it a little bit more consistently. Yeah, you just hit the nail on the head. That's been the frustrating part this season. And we don't want to finish the season and think, like the gaffer's mentioned numerous times, we don't want to finish the season and to be, what if, what could we have done? And like I say, you, you've just mentioned a couple of teams we've beaten and been a match for. We've, and, but the problem's been go into them horrible places away from home that are down there in the bottom of the table and finding a way to come away there with a point or scrapping a win. And that's been the problem this season. And we've got 21 games left and hopefully we can put a run together and start going on a roll. I think five of the next six at the other Memorial Stadium and the other one's not too far away. If you can get on a roll there, then all of a sudden maybe that that momentum might take you somewhere. But it, but you've got to do it now, kind of thing. Yeah, we're under no illusions. We're going to have to do it soon. These next six games are pivotal and point pivotal for the season. Um, like you say, the five home games we're going to have to pick up a fair share of points out of them to stay in the hunt, really. Because the last thing you want as a footballer is to have. 10 games left with not much to play for and that's what we don't want to happen and um, yeah our full focus is on we're working game by game try and win every game that we're playing and just see where it takes us yeah because I guess you know you think back a couple of years and you know what it's like when this club can get on a roll that took you to promotion in league two from an unlikely position so you just got to try and recapture that kind of thing yeah um, like I say it's possible but at the end of the day you don't see many many promotions like that. So we're going to have to find a way to put a bit more consistency in our performances. Well, not even the performances. I think the performances have not been too bad. It's just in, been in both boxes um, where we've made an error and it's when we've been breached, we've not bailed each other out enough. The ball just goes in the back of the net a bit too easily from one mistake and from being in the ascendancy in games. And um, yeah, we've, that's been the frustrating part of the season. We've been in control of a lot of games. We've felt comfortable. It's just been them fine margins that we've got the wrong side of. And that's down to us to make sure we are on the right side of it, them yeah. little fine margins. And, and sometimes it's, you know, football can, the ball bounces a funny way and it lands right in front of the, the striker rather than the centre back to clear it. You know, those are going to happen. But it has happened too often. Is there a a mentality side because it's not even just the defence you've created as a team loads of chances but probably haven't scored the proportion that you should have done yeah we can point we can sit here and point fingers at every direction but at the end of the day we're a team and we've got to look at ourselves as an individual as well as collectively and see what we can do more to eradicate them games where we're in control where the fans are coming off the pitch thinking how oh, have we not won fans as well as, as well as us come off the pitch thinking, oh, have we not got something from that game? And go back to what I said earlier, we don't want to be what if, what could have happened. And we've got to take matters into our own hands and start being more ruthless right across the board. And whether that's putting away a chances when we're on top to go one, two, three up to make itself more comfortable or whether that's being one up and being ruthless in our defending to see out games better. And um, yeah, like I say, it's just about being more decisive in everything we do in both boxes. We know that you were um, it sort of patched up to, to get out on the other the pitch last night. How's the other body holding up today? 
Yeah, I'm obviously stiff like a, a lot of lads are, but it's one of them things, and it's there's a lot of stuff going round at Christmas and when it, when the weather goes cold. So, but you just get on with it. That's your job. Yeah, that's absolutely right. And uh, and it comes on Saturday against Blackpool, who at least were in the same situation as you, even worse because they had extra time on uh, on the last night as well. So at least you're kind of both coming into the uh, the game on a, an even playing field. Yeah, like you say, they'll be. They'll be hurting us just just as much as us, um, but we un fully understand what task is ahead of us. We probably owe them a performance and a result because um, we probably felt like we could have got something from their place. Um, and yeah, it's important that we, with these run of home games, that we really start to kick on because we we do we need to.